Let's walk through a combine prep training session, working through the Pro Shuttle or the 5105. Let's get into it. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Chris Barner from Overtime Athletes. And for today's video, I wanna show you, just like we did with the 40 yard dash, some behind the scenes footage of working with these Canadian guys as they work through and prepare for their combine and pro day for the 5105 or the Pro Shuttle. Now, my man, Coach Osama Mustaba, who is from Toronto Argos, he's a strength and conditioning coach there. He's also the owner and founder of 5-4 Performance. He's one of the best young coaches coming up in the game. So go ahead and check out the video of us working through them with the Pro Shuttle. A couple quick things. 5-10-5, you're gonna run two. You're gonna one run to your, one to your right, one to your left. I know some colleges and some pro days have done some other different stuff, but you gotta remember at a pro day, they're catering to you. Whereas like a combine, you're, it, it, it's a meat market. Like you're in a machine and then you have to go through one guy to the next, you get what I mean? So they're not worried about having your best rep. Well, your coaches worried about having your best rep. Does that make sense to you guys? When it comes to the shuttle, your second one is always gonna be your fastest. So when you go and you're timing with your coach and you continue to run these, get a handle on which side is typically fastest and which side you feel best to because you're gonna wanna run that your second time because nobody cares about what your right side was versus your left side. They just care about your best time, right? Let's say I'm going right, okay? So they're gonna straddle the line I'm not gonna tell you to essentially like cheat over anything like that. They're gonna adjust you. My biggest thing is you just wanna kinda, whatever direction you're going in, you want that front leg to be slightly up. Now, I'm not telling you to have like a crazy start here. All I'm saying is cheat that. So if I did it, it would be about a half a foot up. Why? Because if this is staggered, I gotta get this over crossed to get in this direction. If I'm a half a foot up, it just makes it a little bit more seamless when I go produce force off the ground off this side. Does that make sense? Also too, once I drive off that inside angle, it's easy to turn my hip. I actually wanna stay square for those first five yards, okay? So really what I'm looking for is feet placement, kind of set it. Some of you guys play DB, so you know inside edge. You, you know what that feeling feels like to push off the inside of that foot. Okay, so I wanna sit my hips back. I actually don't wanna be on my toes. If I'm on my toes, where am I trying, where am I going? I'm going forward, I wanna go directly this way. One thing I like to say, especially with Pro Shuttle and L Drill, the body's gonna follow the eyes. Okay, so if you do nothing else in this whole thing, lock your eyes on exactly where you're going. A lot of times your feet are gonna take over. So first and foremost, get your eyes locked in where you're going. I always say take a peek where you're going real quick. Now I'm half a foot up, right? This hand's gonna be down. I say put this hand in the pocket. You don't want this back here, it's wasted motion. You gotta come around the hip to get across now, all right? So I like to come here, half a foot up, and I'm sitting my hips back, back down this way. Now from here, hand in the dirt, but I'm not putting a lot of tension there. I'm loaded in my legs. Immediately from here, this hand's here, I'm gonna rip, and I'm going crossover step one, two, three, Right? The biggest thing after those three crossover steps, you gotta be able to, after you take that step, you have to be able to get this back leg up. Why? It's no different than the setup we just had, right? If it's back here, my hips are going, right? Not set up for going back this way. I gotta get this back leg around, and then now I'm going back this way. The minute my eyes lock and see my hand or my finger touch, a lot of you guys might swipe, that's fine, right? As soon as you give it a little swipe, my eyes are immediately back to the other line that I'm going. Now I'm gonna cross over step, right? It's an immediate sprint. We're gonna get into all the steps as we go. Once you get down here, depending on who it is, right? We're gonna go pivot step, where you're gonna basically open this out. Then you're gonna swing step, bring this leg around. Again, same thing, see your eyes touch the line. Now I'm crossing back over and I'm finishing through the line. Don't overthink it. Because what a lot of guys like to do is they like to line up on the line and nail that one repetition. And then you get out there that day of and your shit, it, your first one, you completely blew it. You slid, something happened, right? Because you didn't get the amount of repetitions in. So a lot of this, when it comes to Pro Shuttle and L is just get your reps in. Don't think about, 
trying to perfect the one. Think about rep, 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 rep. Think about getting 100, not the best one out of five. You get what I'm saying? Does that make sense to you guys? Because it's, at, it's all it is is transitions. This transition and this transition, all right? So here's what we're gonna do to train this. Um, I want you guys to pop up on the line. We're gonna go right first. And I want you to just pop up on the line, set up in that same stance. I want you to feel that inside edge of this foot. I want you to sit your hips back, eyes on this line, and I want you to cross over step. And I want you to try to go straight line as you possibly can. And you're gonna run through this line with that crossover run. Good, let's go ahead and get on the line. Here we go. Set up and go. Not bad, let's go. Thanks, guy. Again, remember, don't try to perfect your rep. Other hand. Drive, 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 drive. Yep, let's go. I promise you by rep three, it's gonna be easier. Bang, 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 bang. Eyes to it though, eyes to it. But big thing for right now is just get your eyes going the direction you're going. That's all, here we go. 10 times better. Don't turn the hip though, stay square, stay square. Big steps, bang, 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 way better. Way better, you still look back, but way better. Here we go. Good, get to that line. Get a little bit wider. Find your comfortable space, but I say shoulder to outside shoulder width with my hips back, right? Produces the most force. Think about baseball athletes, they gotta sit in a staggered stance, I mean a lateral stance and drive off. It's, it's very similar, right? They play off of each other and most of the time, Right, I'm gonna find that a little bit wider is able to load this leg a little bit more. You're still pushing into this leg and then driving, right? But initiation of the movement is this back leg over here. Remember, you just rip and go. Good, remember, rip that down arm, rip it down. So this front arm, I'm sorry. So you're like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do with it. You come here, rip, bang. And it's, it's gonna even itself out as you go. Think initiation off this one, right, on this backside, and immediately gets into that one. This one has no choice but to push, okay? But that one right there initiates it. That's why I'm telling you guys, make sure that you're focused on the inside of that. So think, think this whole inside of this foot is driving off. Load it and explode. Just play fast. What? Bang. Yes, sir. That's a good one. Yes, sir. Now we're gonna work transition, okay? So I just wanna go first five, and then I want you to actually turn here. So all I'm looking for here is for you to set your feet up, right? Set your feet up, and then get yourself, so this back leg on that last step, basically get your hips going back this direction. When you're in this stance, and if you were to turn your hips, to get to five yards, it's way faster than a crossover run. But remember, you're going back 10. So that's why we stay in crossover to be able to get this here and then get my hips back this way. If you would imagine I had to pull through my hips right here, all I'm trying to do is here, boom, boom. You get what I'm saying? Everything's forward, but I'm easily shifting my hips. It's not big 180 turns, you feel me? I'm just trying to keep those as efficient as possible. So let's go ahead and work this to here. Boom, and then come back this way. All we're gonna do is one tactile cue. I want you to imagine there's a barking dog right here on a chain, and that sucker is just stuck right here. So you ever seen Sandlot when he grabbed that ball from the dog? You saw how he got, right? He didn't run up to it, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna put this here, right? And I don't want you to touch this stick. You shouldn't be able to touch me. I want you to imagine you're grabbing that ball right off that line really rapidly. And then I want lastly to see you whip that head around and get the eyes lined back up on it. If your eyes and your head don't get back around, you're gonna to start to swivel in lines. One last thing I wanna say, you're only transitioning and taking one, two steps and then decelerate out. Here we go. Ah, you got passed. You see how you hit me? Eyes. What's happening here is when you get here, so you got to this line so fast, but now I'm not efficient turning. So almost you wanna 
you want to get to it, bang, and I'm back out of it. If this leg isn't putting me in a straight line directly back here, and it's back over here, I have no choice but to try to swing this around, step here, then correct course. For this race, efficiency wins. All right, here we go. Better, that was a straight line. You set your back leg up, you just took too many, that's all. Yep, because you know I've coached you guys on that, like call it the Spider-Man step, so it's like getting the foot out in front of you. But what might help you is focusing on, as you're getting to the line, working your head around. So, because if you work your head around, it's gonna, you know, coach said it, I've said it, eyes lead the body. So if my eyes are leading and I'm not even thinking about my foot, probably gonna get it there, right? Don't think about the foot because then you might not be looking where you wanna go, right? Look where you wanna go, the foot's probably gonna get there. Let's go. Eyes, there you go. We're just gonna go all of them, all of them. So right from here. There you go. There you go. Clean feet. There you go. Jay coach. I don't have anything left to say. Like, I think as a strength and conditioning coach, I know what I know and I know what I don't know. And sometimes what I don't know, that's what we have the expertise for, right? So I really want you guys like to understand this is a, an absolutely amazing experience to be able to get coaching from someone who's done it with hundreds, thousands of athletes, right? He pretty much told you everything you need to know. It's just about repetition. At the end of the day, this is a dance. And some of you don't know how to tango and all they're trying to do is get you to tango as fast as you can. So guess what? You better be in the lab tangoing. I get looking in your mirror, tangoing, just a little, Trust, because one day when, when the lights are bright, it's, it's gonna come and you're gonna have to tango one way or another, okay? So that's it, man. Just, just the only way to be prepared is to take the reps and this kind of stuff. Appreciate, Appreciate you, coach. Thank you so much. Appreciate These guys know I hate come on. <laughs> I've told them before. I've it. told you guys, come yeah. by this dance rehearsal. Yes, sir. Let's go, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. What's the thing? All right, guys, there you have it. You guys were able to see how we go ahead and approach the pro shuttle start to finish and how we're able to elevate these guys' times and prepare them for their biggest job interview. Another huge shout out to Coach Osama from the Toronto Argos. If you guys are interested in a full program, go ahead and check out the link down below. And I'll catch you guys next time.